Mm. Well, this year Brown Brothers is actually celebrating 120 years since our first vintage. Um, and the business and the company and the family have come a very long way. We, we've been uh, in the area of North East Victoria in Australia for 120 years now. And my great grandfather uh, came to the area from Scotland uh, in, in search of gold. The area that uh, the vines are is, uh, or did have a lot of gold um, a number of years ago. And so he came and settled in the area and uh, tried his hand at panning for gold and realised that he was way too late and there was not a fortune to be had in gold. So he decide, decided his hand at farming and he always had a passion for vines. And uh, so from planting some vines, he uh, started up uh, a small production of wine. But it wasn't until my grandfather uh, returned home from boarding school that uh, the real uh, viticulturist moved in. So. And uh, from that point, my grandfather became very interested in the wines of the world and travelled a lot. And when other wine growers in Australia were just focusing on Chardonnay and Shiraz, uh, my grandfather was overseas looking at different varieties such as um, <laughs> let me think, such as uh, a Graciano, uh, Pinot Grigio and uh, some fantastic um, Spanish varieties as well. And on bringing those varieties home, uh, we now have over between 40 and 50 different varieties planted across our five vineyards. The vineyards that we have uh, range from being right down on the valley floor all the way up to our very cool climate um, property called Whitlands, meaning Whitelands, um, where you'll actually find snow in the middle of the winter. So that lovely balance of uh, having snow but then kangaroos behind the vines is, a, is a, probably not a typical uh, aspect that many people would see as Australian, but for us in the cool climate area, this is, very, this is a typical, typical scene for us. So. We're very lucky there. Some of the aspects that we look at with our innovation are, are different varieties, uh, varieties that are not typical to Australia and that are not typically found on uh, the shelves of uh, shops where you find wine. And also looking at wine that match food very well, that you can drink now that don't need ageing in the cellar. And uh, also wines that have lower alcohol um, around the world at the moment, uh, a lot of uh, people look at lower alcohol wines and I love the idea because it means that you can have two glasses rather than one or three glasses, <laughs> that, extra, that extra glass at the end of the night. And um, yeah, so it's a real focus for us. And also looking at uh, wines, focusing on uh, newer drinkers to the wine market. So wines that have a little bit more fruit and uh, also these wines uh, can go very well with different cuisines. Um, wine matched with chilli is something that we look at, um, Australia being close to Asia and also Asian food being very popular throughout the world now. Um, working with these wines that uh, match the flavours like uh, lemons and limes um, and also that spice, um, I think it's very exciting. Um, I'll open one of the wines for us. Ooh, a wine like uh, the dry, dry musket is a, a variety that's been around for a very long time in Australia, but always used for a more fortified, high alcohol. Uh, this dry musket, as the name says, uh, is drier in character. It has a beautiful lemon, lime and floral zest on the nose. And then on the palate, it has a nice hint of fruit. And this is one of the wines that I think will go perfectly with uh, the chilli and spice that I was talking about. We are very lucky to have our five different vineyards at Brown Brothers that, we, um, that are spread across cool climate areas. And an advantage of this is that the grapes ripen slower and therefore we get more flavour and spice uh, in our wines. Uh, an example of this is our Shiraz. Um, there's quite a lot of Shiraz being produced in Australia. Uh, 
but the production of cool climate Shiraz is still very new. Cool climate Shiraz has more pepper flavours, um, less bold berry that you'd find in some of the warmer regions, and therefore it um, will match um, red meats very well, uh, especially with a pepper sauce, and it's not overpowering, which means it's slightly lower alcohol, softer on the palate, and therefore it won't overpower the, the taste of the food. It's such a beautiful aroma. Oh, that would be nice with venison. <laughs> Some reindeer. <laughs> well, for Brown Brothers, the future is really exciting. Um, an innovation that we brought in a number of years ago is our kindergarten winery, which is in a way our, our nursery for, our, for our new, the new varieties that we're bringing in. And this allows us to experiment between uh, different, different vineyards, different varieties and different winemaking practices. And as part of this, uh, we've actually realised that we can create some low alcohol wines and also some wines that display characters uh, that are not typical such as a red wine that you'd serve chilled, or a red wine with a, a bit of a, a sparkle to it, so a fizzante. And uh, we're very excited that we're able to, in a way, play around with, with these wines to create something that's very, very different and uh, I believe will lead the way in the future. Now, a wine I really have to show you is the Orange Muscat and Flora. Now, this is very unique to Brown Brothers. Um, these are two great varieties that my grandfather um, really went out in the world um, to all the, the wine regions um, around Europe and brought these varieties back to Australia. Um, flora is even a cross between two varieties, so this shows the innovation that my grandfather had. And uh, the story goes that um, one uh, harvest season, it got very, very cold uh, in our area. Uh, not as cold as Finland, but very cold. And we had a frost um, in the end half of the harvest and lost quite a lot of the crop. Now, most farmers would go home and grumble and start thinking about that the next season. But my grandfather knew that there was going to be a way to get through this. So rather than leaving the grapes on the vine, he went and picked them and put these two grapes together just to, because there wasn't quite enough juice out of the two of them. Uh, out of them separately. So put these two wines, uh, grapes together and made a wine from it. Took this wine to Salador, which uh, is where our customers come in to try things. And uh, everyone loved it. Everyone thought it was amazing. He originally thought it was a mistake. So um, from that point on, we've been making this orange musket and flora. Now this wine, I believe, can be enjoyed at any time of the day. Um, certainly more on the sweeter spectrum and perfect with a, an orange or lemon tart, but then also fantastic um, for an aperitif, maybe with a pate or um, some liver. <laughs> if I can open it. So as the name suggests, the orange musket portrays uh, the flavours of an orange blossom. So it's very aromatic and then the musket gives it a nice sweet succulent lush flavour which I really love. This wine is a perfect way to get through the finished winter. It's low alcohol so you can have a few glasses. It's sweet, it's lush and it will go perfectly with any of those sweet delights so I think it should be fantastic. Well, thank you to Finland for enjoying the amazing wines of Brown Brothers. And uh, I'd really like just to say cheers, uh, enjoy the wines, and please come and visit us when you get a chance. <laughs>